Number 33, Arlen Harris, leads the area's top team, Downingtown, onto the field to face sixth-ranked Malvern Prep. It's been built as the Harris vs. Chris Downs game, but it's D-Town's passing attack that cracks the scoring. When number 28, Brian Hunter, hauls in the pass for a 7-0 lead. Prep tries to respond with one of Pennsylvania's top backs, number 21, Chris Downs. But the visitors have no plans on letting Downs break one as they pile it on all contests. D-Town's Harris, no such problems. The kid is as good as it gets, folks, as he finds the outside and good night. Because he will not be caught, he rarely is. 59 yards later, the defending state champs are up two touchdowns. It's 21 zip late in the second quarter, and D-Town strikes again. With the defense king on Arlen, the passing game takes advantage. Another seven points for the Whippets, and it's starting to get ugly for Prep, down 28-0 at the break. It only got worse for the homestanding Friars. The run game stopped, so they turn to the pass, still no success. Maybe it's just me, but I think Downingtown is trying to prove a point to the rest of the area, and that's don't mess with the defending state champs. One more time, it's Brian Hunter on the receiving end. The TD and Downingtown goes to Malvern and drops the hammer on the Friars. The final, Downingtown 42, Malvern Prep 0. Welcome back to the Sports Show. There are certain matchups in this region that simply don't need any buildup. The Cowboys and the Eagles, the Sixers versus the Celtics, the Flyers versus the Rangers, and Downingtown versus Coatesville. And just when you thought this high school rivalry couldn't get any more intense, this summer it did. Here's Kevin Agandhi with an explanation and this week's big game. Mike, this bitter rivalry between neighboring towns was elevated this offseason as both coaches traded sidelines. Despite the move, Downingtown continues to be the number one team in the region. If Coatesville has any shot in pulling an upset, they must contain Arlen Harris, or it could be a long, sloppy, and wet night for the Red Raiders. Downingtown coach Jack Helm now a visitor on his former home turf, while Coachville's John Barr is looking for the play that stopped Harris in practice last season. Memo to Barr, that play does not exist. First play from scrimmage. It's Harris off tackle on the left side, and number 33 breaks it open. 59 yards later and 18 seconds into the game, Downingtown is on the board, 6-0. Next possession, Red Raiders' first offensive play, and it's a disaster. Tony Garcia with the hit on Stephen Lewis, and we have a loose ball. The Whippets recover. Two plays later, it's Harris again on the sweep to his right with less than a minute gone by in the first quarter. Downingtown is up by two touches, pleasing Whippet alum and Penn State fullback Aaron Harris as he watches his younger brother Arlen work his magic. This time it's from four yards out with the added push, and the Whippets take a commanding 26 0 lead after two. Start of the second half, and psst, guys, you're a week early. Halloween is next Friday. For Downingtown, every week is Halloween as they continue to frighten the opposition. QB Jason Willis with the pass across the middle to Matt Ellis for the 38 yard touchdown reception. Behind Harris, the game's second leading rusher was this guy. Number 26 would retrieve the kicking tee a total of seven times on the night, and the last one would follow this. Jeff Reinhardt sack and fumble, scooped up by Chris Patz on the return, and Downingtown wins an emotional game, and the Harris brothers celebrate the 47 7 victory. For me, emotionally, it was, it was draining. I, I, I didn't sleep at all last night. I didn't know how I was going to react coming in here. And, uh, these kids just played their hearts out for me, and, and uh, I, I couldn't ask anything more from them. I, I couldn't have thought nothing better. Everyone came out. We was, um, every, All year, we wanted to come together, play a great game, and we did it tonight, and I think we're on our way. Well, the weather called for an umbrella, but for the Coachville defense, they could not stop the reign of Arlen Harris as he scores the team's first five touchdowns. And the Downingtown defense's front line steps it up to extend its win streak to 22. For the Inquirer High School Sports Show, I'm Kevin Nagandi.